me tell you all about the speeding ticket in a police car story from work. One of our mechanics was given the work order to work on a police vehicle. Now the complaint was vibration at high speeds. So just like any other vehicle, you got to go on a test drive. Now this guy, what he said, this is his story anyway, he's so used to working on trucks, Super Duties, F-150s, so he takes it on the road like he does any other vehicle, mostly trucks, and gets it on the two-lane two-lane road we have. Speed limit's 80 kilometers an hour, and just steps on it. Now he said he's so used to the trucks, the way they accelerate. He never even paid attention. He was just said he was listening for vibration. But he said when he looked up. He was going, I think he said 150, 160 kilometers an hour, which is 100 miles an hour. No, nothing of it. He said he noticed it right away and then slowed down. He was doing all that to feel the vibration. So it did not think of nothing of it. He goes back to the shop, finishes writing up, said he couldn't find a vibration. Right. Next day, the sheriff shows up talking to the service advisor, wanting to know who was speeding in their patrol car. Well, apparently, the cameras in the front turn on when you get to about 130 kilometers an hour, automatically turn on for safety reasons. So they were questioning the service manager and he wouldn't give up the mechanic's name because, you know, he wanted to get the whole story first, normal stuff. Question the mechanic, mechanic said yes, yes I did, and, you know, good at him and being honest. They could have figured it out anyway, it's not, not like they couldn't, but. The mechanic contacts the sheriff, the sheriff gives him a great big lecture saying reckless driving and he shouldn't have been doing this and shouldn't have been doing that gives him a ticket. He could have got a lot worse. He said he could have given him a reckless driving, suspended everything. So the guy, the mechanic goes to court, pay for his ticket. You know, he totally admit he did it. He can't say he didn't do it. Hoping to get a bit of leniency. So when they went to court, the judge questioned him and seen that was a speeding ticket and reads the rest of the report and starts giggling. He said he started giggling. He said, you did this in a police car? He said, yes, yes, sir. And giggle some more. Now he was slapped with a 500 plus dollar fine ticket plus six points off or six demerits off their his license. Now I'm not going to defend him saying he shouldn't have been speeding but I honestly think there should have been a little bit more leniency based on the circumstances. Like if you bring it in for bring it in for a uh, vibration at high speeds, well what exactly is they, they're determining high speeds? 80? That's not high speeds. So how is any police vehicle ever going to get fixed or repeat the, be able to repeat the symptoms if you can't go at the speed that they happen at? So yeah, I should have got some lenience or been able to, I still don't even know if the car got fixed after. Yeah, he was fine, and uh, he said he is never, ever working on emergency vehicles again. Police vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks, anything. So what do you guys think? Do you think he was being a total dick with that speed, or he 
he's got everything he deserved or you think the sheriff was being a dick you know could have gave him a could have gave him a slap say don't do that again or I don't know maybe he had to fill out a report because those cameras come on automatically maybe well the recording and the information sent somewhere so you got to explain it I don't know I personally think he should have got a ticket yes maybe half that amount and half the points you know you don't give them something then that creates a precedent for everyone else right give me your thoughts Sorry about your penis. <laughs> <laughs>